Hello and welcome back guys to bad decisions. <laughs> well, not really. Um, I think that we're actually going to end up sending our regrets and not going. I don't to think this. we have enough reflexes. I don't think we can for like handle, sword fight. Like if there's anything that is in our way, I don't think we can really handle it right now. I know we have I mean, a lot of sword fighting and stuff, but we could I don't still know. get hit. I think that's like the reflexes are to make sure that you're prepared for surprises and oh yeah that's right and that's there might why be surprises. I, I feel like it's not gonna work if we're gonna get caught or something yeah, yeah, yeah. or if at the party they're gonna just be attacking us yeah because the girl keeps saying like trying to talk to you and it just seems like she wants she, to yeah we're not even friends why are you trying to talk to yeah, me yeah it seems like she wants to get you alone and that's a yeah. little freaky and I don't want yeah. something so to let's happen. just send our regrets. I'd better stay here. Yeah. Oh. I'll be pressured. Um, or willful. I think we should do this. Alright. Tend court? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And we're still mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think so our, our history. military is good. I think, I think our, our history needs to get that. I think our history needs some work. But we do need to get economic stuff up. I really feel like that's important with the Honestly, history. Honestly, I think we're, we're already fucked at this point well, with economics. I, mean, I think we're, we're just... That's it. Well, at least let's get the history up with it, because that's... I think we should get history up. Yeah. I think we should get internal affairs up. Because that might tell us about things like the the person. How about internal affairs and... Who is trying to send us letters and stuff. And our history, Nov Novian. Novan history? Novan history. Okay. So, Novan history and... what was it? Internal affairs? Internal yeah. Affairs. No individual may hold more than one dukedom, but nobles seek noble spouses, so titles often come together before being parceled out to heirs. Your father is Duke of Calories. His brother is Duke of Mazomba. Bryn, Duchess of Hellas, is the sister of Banyan, Duke of Marie, and so on. Arise, Duchess of Lila, is the mother of the Duchess of Mead, the mother-in-law of the Duke of Kigal, and the stepmother of the future Duke of Elath. People sometimes call her Nova's Eastern Queen. Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> no. The Countess of Dees is now married to the disinherited third sibling of the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Helius. Helles? Currently, both Duke and Duchess are unwed. If either dies without heir, the title may still pass to the Countess's husband. Several generations back, the rulers of Elath and Sedna in neighboring Talassia married. The citizens of Elath objected to this foreign influence and the resulting heir died in suspicious cir circumstances, after which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family, rather than another child of the Elath Sedna Union. That's interesting. Yeah. Sigh. All of my friends are at Gwenelle's party and I don't get to go. I sent Gwenelle a letter saying I couldn't come, but it was her mother, the Countess, who replied. I think she insulted- she's insulted that I didn't consider the event- important enough to attend. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Yeah. Our court etiquette wasn't up. Mm-hmm. We should probably get that to 100. Yeah. Um... Let's raise Willful. Alright. We haven't been Willful in a while. Um, so... Court manners is at 50, yeah, so yeah. We, should, we should get more court manners. Um, yeah, let's do court manners, and then we do can do... Let's do world history? I still say foreign affairs is really low. Yeah... Mm, yeah, let's just do foreign affairs. Foreign affairs and court manners? Yeah. Four years ago, the Duchess of Hellas tried to foment an insurrection in northern Ixion, just over the Galban River border. 
Not only did that fail, but in retaliation, Ixian pushed troops into the southern Marie. Tambula, to the north, underwent a peasant revolution shortly after you were born. The nobles either fled or were killed, and the new rulers have so far refused to establish official di diplomatic ties with Nova. While they are not friendly, e neither enemies, at least not yet. To directly challenge someone's honor is to declare war. Never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, or... <laughs> this is what we needed before. Yeah, when the kid, yeah. Infidelity or murder unless you're prepared to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of dueling. If we just did That's that. good. We know the etiquette of dueling now. Yeah. Notice you were looking over some military records the other day. I was just checking how many so whole soldiers we had available. If you're, ah, if you're desperate to recruit more fighters, you could offer pardons to criminals in exchange for service. Be careful, though. Some of them are dangerous and un unreliable. That's why they were in prison to begin with. Hmm. Could always let them do our dirty work. <laughs> yeah, but they could try and kill us. But we do, like, we do have. We're pretty s strong, sir. Sword fighting and stuff? Yeah. But we're not good at reflexes, and those are surprises. Yeah. Um... Did anything fall down, or did we fail at something? I didn't notice. Not there! No. No, 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 there wasn't any check there. I feel like recruiting soldiers might be useful. You think? Depends on if we're going to go to war soon. I feel like there is going to be a war, but it really hasn't said yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're preparing for it. It yeah. has said that. Oh, yeah, that's right, right. Yeah. At the person's thing. Mm hmm. Recruit soldiers? Yeah. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Well, all right, let's do that. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Very well. Do you want to be pressured a little bit or no? Like, add just pressured? Yeah. Sure, why not? <sighs> okay. So... Hmm, should we keep going with court manners? Let's yeah. keep going with court manners. Let's get world... History, though, because yeah, we can't get. Yeah, put that in now. Yeah. Um, world, world history, history and court, court manners. manners. Yeah. And then next time, I'm thinking we do we finish up sword training. Yeah. We got that hundred on that. Um. Could raise up our reflexes. And reflexes, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Well, let's just do this. You look at a globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing <laughs> there has ever returned. As a monarch, you are expected to embody the virtues of honesty, bravery, and generosity. You should always offer aid to those in need. However, those you aid personally are expected to give you their utmost loyalty, even unto death. You study the forms of written address, how to issue and decline invitations, <laughs> how to announce an impending visit, and how to correspond with rulers of foreign demands. Well, that's the court manners we were missing, missing before. Duchess Amid is here to see you. Hello, oh. Elodie. Sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Bryony? No, not since I left school. She's gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she was unhappy, but I never expected... She wrote me a letter saying she was bored and looking for adventure, that's all I know. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish, my poor little lamb. I have to go look for her. Mm. Well, she's missing now. Oh boy. Well. Hmm. I think we should stop being angry. A little bit more. We should get some afraid. Yeah. Let's get some afraid and... Uh, we could be lonely, but eh. Let's get some of. Let's just minus angry. Okay. Yeah, let's just minus angry. Alright, so I'm thinking we finish up swords. Yeah. 
And... God, we're on week 31. Yeah. I'm not dead yet. Oh my god, we're doing so well! I'm so surprised. Okay, uh... World history again? Because then we'll get the outfit. Yeah. Yeah? We can do that. And then we put on the outfit and be at least smart. Well, I think we should keep our military outfit on just in case. But we can look at it. Um... So that's world history. And then we can go back to doing just foreign affairs forever, basically, probably. Okay. Foreign affairs and Novan history, probably. Um, yeah. You learn techniques for thrusting your blade through armor to disable or kill your opponent. You learn advanced techniques for holding off multiple opponents at once. You read about the Western Covenant G Javar? Where civilization flourished not so long ago in the uh, that the ancestral Novans were still living in caves. No one knows what became of them. The population vanished without a trace, living, leaving only their enormous stone buildings. Sounds similar, very very similar to the mines. It does. Very similar so to the mines. So maybe those are the mines of this game. <laughs> in the distant past, the Yeveni tribes to the east rode great beasts with spines and tentacles on their heads instead of horses. The bones of these creatures are sometimes found in Lilla and Mead. Their tusks are valuable to crafters. As you're walking through the Great Hall, a freak gust of wind suddenly blows out all candles in the room. How strange. There must be an open window somewhere. Oh, God. How strange. Um, What's the definition anyway? Let's get depressed and afraid. Alright. Because that'll lower both of these two, and maybe we can get something else in here. Uh, let's take a look at the outfit. Um, what was it? It was uh, the scholar's gown. Ah, oh, uh, how cute. <laughs> that's silly. It's cute. Um, so, we have full swords. What does divination do? Divination is like, um, it lets you tell, like, supernaturally when things are going to happen. Like, when something bad is going to happen. Oh, future. Can, yeah, yeah. Future references. Okay. Well, kind of. It's not really telling the future. It's just sort of like, you can predict when something bad is going to happen because you see these, like... Signs. Signs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like signs from some faith... Uh, that's coming to you, you know? Okay, alright. Yeah. Signs from a god or something like that, you know? So, um... Hmm. So we should do foreign affairs, huh? I'm still surprised we're not dead. And reflexes? Yeah. Mm. Or do you want to do flexibility? I don't know. Hmm. I think we should definitely do more history. So no one, no one affairs or foreign affairs is really the question here. Let's do foreign affairs at this foreign point. Foreign affairs. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, let's just go for reflexes. Okay. Uh, history, foreign affairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Southeast lies the domain of Talasi with which we have enjoyed fairly cordial relations. Sedna, the, their chief province, borders the Novan Duchy of Elath, and nobles from the two provinces have been known to intermarry. The Duchy of Lila has, was not part of the pre-imperial Nova domain, but the western range of Yeva nomads. A faction of Yeveni who wished to settle offered their allegiance willingly to a Novan queen, and their chief was named a duke. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You practice running at high speed, back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. Mm, good. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea. Knights, jousting, magicians. Uh, magicians? Musicians. <laughs> All sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What you offer is prizes to the winners. Status? status and praise. Status and praise, I think. That could help with their... They need cheerfulness, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think status and praise are gonna make people happy. Gold's just gold and employment's just eh. Yeah, employment sucks. <laughs> employment's just another form of gold, kind yeah. of. Let's do status and praise. Being declared the best in front of the entire domain should be prize enough for anyone. Very well, I will draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Someone on hall duty is being lazy. These flowers should be replaced. You continue upstairs to your room where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady. A merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Calava River. You tear open a brightly covered the brightly covered paper to find chocolates. Oh dear. Uh oh. There's a little card with the box with our compliments to the house of Carillat. That's oddly high-handed of some tiny trader I've never heard of. There's something suspicious about this. Test for poison. <laughs> You can't think of any safe way to chest the chocolate. You don't want to leave it living around where it... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> We've mashed them together and buried the box in the garden. It's a waste if they weren't really poisoned. My candy. <laughs> hmm. I see. Well. I think we should probably be willful. Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna get to Lonely before Willful, though. I think. Yeah, Lonely would be there, Willful would be there. But we can deal with that. Yeah, we can always put pull up pressure again. Yeah. <clears throat> so now we're Lonely. Which means conversation and medicine. Um. Hmm. We could do flattery. Well, if our conversation is really high. We could. Let's get some more Novan history. Yeah, that and seems a little low right now. Let's do public speaking for okay. now. Okay. I think we'll get to 100 with this. The Duchy of Sudbury is currently held in regency by Countess Leak of Dis for her daughter Gwinnell, who is your age. <laughs> she inherited the duchy last year upon the death of her father. The last two rulers before your mother, Queen Fidelia, were your grandmother, Queen Ladesh, and her father, King Fulbert. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, memorize a few good phrases for the beginning and ending of a speech, and then make up the rest on the spot. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject that requires you to answer questions on it on the spot in front of an audience. It's the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. People will be pleased if you participate in their games, however it exposes you to danger. We can do, uh... Fencing. Fencing? Is yes. that swords? Yes, that's swords. Fencing. Here, the devotees of the blade can challenge each other to duels fought only for points, not blood or and honor. You win your first match to uproarious applause, but are soon overpowered by no more experienced competitors. Still, you did very well for your first tournament. All the winners are announced and displayed their great cheers. As near queen, you place flower garlands around their necks. All of a sudden, a man approaches the winner's platform. It's Kevin, the Earl of Io. In one hand, he carries an armored gauntlet, in the other, a sword. My family's blood is on your hands. What is he talking about? He casts the metal glove on the ground with a clatter and raises his sword, pointing it at you. I challenge you, Elodie. A life for a life. Is he challenging you? He's challenging you to a duel? Do you think... Let's do it. He's yeah, holding a we... sword. Yeah, I think we can... Very well, I will meet your challenge. As the challenge party, you have a choice of weapons. Swords. Swords. Bring me my sword. The crowd seems to not not to realize it at first. Oh, I think this is our death. This is a blood that this blood is a blood match and not entertainment. Or perhaps they do, and their cheering is all the louder for it. Kevin's rage fills him with great strength. 
but makes him erratic and unpredictable. Worse, he's armored, and he seems willing to settle for nothing less than your death or his. Unfortunately, yeah. your, ex your exertions in the tournament have drained your strength. You can barely keep your guard up. Before you can begin to work out some way to safely forfeit, you have fallen. Damn. We shouldn't have joined the tournament. That was the that was the problem. Seriously, the turn tournament was the problem? The tournament was the problem. Uh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have died. One this mistake. We would have made it, though, if we We would have made it. We did really well. We got pretty far. We could have challenged him and could have won. Yeah, we could have. Or if her exercise was up, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we had more athletics. Yeah. I, I thought reflexes would do it, but... No, we needed... Uh, what was that, running or something? I think it was running. Yeah. Dormant or whatever. Well, we were close. Yes! We were very close. Mm. Well, um, I think that is it for now. And we might do this again later. We might do something that's like, um... We might go and try and find like a little guide thing and, and go through one of the main endings of the game just to like show people what the game can be if you do really well. Yeah, this was quite fun. Yeah, it was really nice. And I, I do like seeing all the different um, scenes that you can get when you, you know, when you do Good. get far in the game like yeah. that or, or with the different choices that you can make, you know. You were close. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's... I it went so far. 42 to 50 weeks or something like that. I don't remember which, but we we got up to the 30s, so... Good job, us. Yeah. All right, well, we so will close. see you next time, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.